So today Zambia faced Uganda in a friendly match which took place in Uganda. And uh, if you are new to the channel, I'm doing the voiceovers because of copyright reasons to avoid any copyright strikes and also to give you a chance to watch the match as it goes on. So we apologize sincerely for the first goal not having taken it due to technical difficulties. But however, Zambia played very well in the first half. But if you look at the game as it was, I would say Uganda outplayed Zambia in the first half. Zambia, it's true that Zambia had scored in the first half, scored the first goal with Pats on Daka, who scored the penalty. But Uganda was attacking more. If you look at everything that we took so far, it's not because maybe we didn't have any clips of Zambia attacking, but the fact that Uganda was attacking all, all along. And there you have it. So Uganda tried by all means to equalize because, you know, a one lead goal is nothing much when you're at home. And also when you're playing a friendly, they were relaxed. Zambia was relaxed. Uganda was relaxed as well. But they all wanted to win, you know, because there's prestige that comes with winning the game. Now, in this case, Uganda was attacking and also trying to score at every moment. And uh, they couldn't break the Zambian defense. That's one thing that I've noticed so far with the Zambian defense at the moment. They are quite doing so far so much good as compared to before. Uh, in this case, I hope Zambia will play the same way as we head to the Africa Cup of Nations, which will be taking place soon. So at the moment, this was a preparation match for the Africa Cup of Nations, which is taking place in Ivory Coast, starting on 13th January to uh, 11th February 2024. So that is the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. And uh, Zambia will be in a tough match on the Africa Cup of Nations because we've been paired with Morocco and Congo Diara and Tanzania. So Tanzania definitely will, we will beat them. Congo, yes, possibly we could beat them, but Morocco, it will be a tough match. So as we are playing here, we are also practicing for the matches to come. So in this one, we tried our best to keep our cool and also keep our lead all the way as it continued. So uh, just to mention uh, here, Zambia will meet Morocco in the Africa Cup of Nations. Also, in the World Cup qualification, Zambia is meeting Morocco again. So we'll have a lot of time to play against Morocco. And Morocco so far, you know, Morocco had qualified to the World Cup and they are the first team in, in Africa to actually reach the quarterfinals. Uh, and it's something that's very, very hard for a team to actually reach there. So uh, the first half ended in one new lead for Zambia, but Zambia still continued to push as they wanted more goals. And like I told you so far, Zambia is pushing and also trying to practice for the matches which are coming. But Uganda still did not relent to say, no, we'll just sit back and let Zambia beat us in that way. They also wanted to win in this case, you know, because there's prestige that comes with winning a game. And uh, I think here Zambia almost scored, but, uh, you know, we also have that thing of wanting to get free penalties. That's something that we usually have as Zambia. Instead of equalizing a goal or maybe capitalizing on a chance to score a goal, we'd rather fall down and seek a penalty, which in most cases is never given because referees do see through such kind of things that happen, you know? Oh, wow, this was a wonderful, 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 wonderful skill that uh, he did. So uh, actually they had to replay it about three times because of the way that it was nice, this skill. And here Uganda almost scored as well almost scored and here they almost scored the penalty as well exactly but if you look at it and analyze it there was no penalty here there was no penalty whatsoever and nothing should have been given in that way so here uh, nothing happened but after just this i think we had the second goal zambia scored the second goal so i'm talking about this because i've watched the game and we know the game that ended in three uh new with zambia not scoring uh, getting any goal so zambia had a clean sheet and here uh, this was a goal in which parts on Dhaka, uh, it was Fashion Sakala actually for a second goal, who actually put it in the net. And this was a beautiful goal from uh, from uh, Fashion Sakala. And this, this guy has actually been giving very good football. Him, parts on Dhaka, because parts on Dhaka scored the first goal and also the third goal. So Zambia had a brace. Uh, parts on Dhaka had a brace. And uh, Fashion Sakala had one go. Now, this duo with uh, one of the guys that we usually miss, which is Enoch Mwepo. Enoch Mwepo was a very, very good midfielder. With these two, this would have been a very complete you know, team up to now. But, you know, things happen that way, where he stopped playing due to some medical reasons in that way. Uh, so Zambia scored a third goal, which we did not podcast as well, due to certain technical issues that we had. Also, do apologize for that. 
However, at least it's better to watch a match and see how Zambia performed, even with though we did not see the goals directly. But uh, yeah, so Zambia scored the third goal, and now it was all done for Uganda at this moment because there is no way that Uganda would equalize three goals to go to four or four goals in the 75th minute where they had 15 minutes remaining. I know teams that could try to equalize in this way, but that's not Uganda. I think if I were to give Man-, Man City to Zambia, I'm sure at this point, in this where they are 15 minutes, they wouldn't equalize also. So it's kind of, that's how hard it is to equalize at this moment, you know? Uh, so we, we played very well, especially the, the second half. The second half, we played very well because we had the morale now, knowing that we're winning, you know? When you're winning, there's always that morale that comes in it, saying you're winning and you are playing a relaxed game where nothing bothers you as you are playing the game. And that is what happened for Zambia in this case, where they just started playing comp- a composed game, you know, because there was nothing to fear, no panic whatsoever. And they almost scored many, many more goals. And we missed quite a number of chances. As you can see, so far, we had a lot of chances in this game. Also, Uganda had a lot of chances that they did not, uh, uh, you know, convert to goals. And uh, as for one thing I would like to mention also, our keeper, this keeper is one of the tries that the new coach has been trying out. And so far, he's performing so good. So far, you could see from the clean sheet that he has in this game, it shows that he's actually a well-performing goalkeeper. So hope he continues to perform this way until all the games are finished. So there you have it. Zambia won today uh, against Uganda in this friendly match, and the score was 3 new as it ended. So this was the final whistle which was blown at this moment to seal up the match and seal the win for Zambia. So thank you very much for watching. This is Maxwell with Z Gambit. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.